So I'm going to get to work on my boat. i already taken care of all the goose poop that was all over the deck. Most of it anyway. Washed it all down and it went overboard. And so the next step is to pick up where we left off, which is trying to get the deck fill lined up properly. Let me show you what's going on here. This is a starboard side deck fill. The, uh, you can see the deck fill is pretty much level with the uh, the deck. I've got some butyl tape underneath it, so standing a little bit proud, not too much. And the, the screws are sucking it down to the deck. This one is being a problem because there's nothing under it at the moment. And I've got, what is that, about a quarter of an inch difference between the two sides. This side is flush, this side obviously is not. When I take the hose off, this thing will sit in there flush. But when I try and put the barb tail into the hose, that's what happens. So clearly there's a misalignment in there somewhere. And I've got to figure out what that is and fix it. So that's my job right now, is to deal with that. And once that's done, then I've got the various and sundry little fittings on the fuel tank. There's a, a fuel return that needs to be hooked up. That's not a big deal. It's just a uh, hose and a clamp. And then the fuel tank vent, I've got to hook up. That's the same thing. It's just a hose and a clamp, but it's on the top of the tank. So it's very hard to, <clears throat> to get to and to get tools up in there to tighten things down. And then I have to hook up the fuel line itself. On this starboard side, I hooked up the fuel line before I put the tank in. This side, I did not because of how tight clearances are. I wish I could have because now I've got to put that hose in there blind and awkward. But that's the challenge and I will meet the challenge and get it done. And hopefully there's no major destruction going on. I don't want to destroy the uh, fuel pickup. Those things are expensive. They're about six bucks each. And once that's done, well, then it's time to hook up the exhaust on the motor and put some fuel in the tanks and let it rip. That's for another day. Today, we got this stuff to deal with. So, let's get at her. Well, I figured it out. It didn't take too long to see what the problem was, and I fixed it, resolved it, and now I've got the deck cell nailed down nice and tight with some butyl tape underneath it. The problem was that the tank was too far forward, and there's a little slat on the uh, ledge where the fuel tank lives to stop it from sliding forward. And it, when I installed it, I had installed it sitting up on top of that slat. So I moved it back about a half an inch, and it fell down, and of course the tank leveled out, which means that the fuel filler barb leveled out, and it went in perfectly, which makes me happy. So now I'm going to move on to doing the hose clamp job. Hopefully that doesn't go too badly. And uh, I'll check back in with you when I'm done.